Just imagine, you are passing through this typical village of Mizoram. You are tempted to buy some fresh vegetables and fruits. It is Sunday and the business is as usual. While you are engrossed in negotiating with the local vendors, your wisdom says, all is not fine. The weather suddenly changes its temper and gets furious. You are nervous and drive home immediately. But the things are getting from bad to worse. Roads are not familiar and all the directions look alike. Huge canopies and hills stare at you with no support to offer. Your compass fails and amidst the peak of anxiety, the sun silently gives way to the moon. What will you do? Let's meet Suresh and Reena. Venture, adventure, expedition and excursion are some of the words you'll always find highlighted in their dictionaries. Life for them means outing. They always carry a handheld navigational gadget to reach the desired destination. Their gadget is equipped with GPS service, but their preference is a dependable and indigenous navigation service. All these examples reaffirm the need for such a homemade navigational system that is robust, constant, dependable and above all meets the specific requirements of navigation in India. ISRO's IRNSS is an answer to this. The IRNSS or the Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System is a space-based navigational system that is being fully developed in India by the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO. The system shall cater to the very specific and special needs of navigation in India. So don't be surprised if in the next few years you find a choice in your cell phone to opt for IRNSS as your navigation support service. India is all set to launch the second navigational satellite of the IRNSS series, the IRNSS-1B built by ISRO. The IRNSS-1B is being launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center on board the PSLV C-24 launch vehicle. Once fully operational, the IRNSS system will work in a constellation of seven satellites and provide seamless navigational signals to India. Out of these seven satellites, three will be placed in geostationary Earth orbit and four in the geosynchronous orbit about 36,000 kilometers away from the Earth. The first satellite of the IRNSS series, the IRNSS-1A, was launched a few months back. And the IRNSS-1B will be placed in the same orbit, that of 1A. This is how the full IRNSS constellation will look. 
water synthesis of technology and art in space. It would be interesting to know that it is the application that determines the orbital positioning and the payloads for a satellite. IRNSS-1B has vital payload of navigation that will generate the navigation downlink signals for the users to meet their navigational requirements. By mid-2015, ISRO will put five more navigation satellites into the orbit to make the system complete and operational. Once fully operational, the navigational services of IRNSS will have a position accuracy of better than 20 meters, providing real-time position, navigation and the time services to the users. The service will be seamless and available 24-7 under all weather conditions. This means that you'll get continuous and accurate signals anywhere, anytime in India. IRNSS will help in terrestrial, aerial and marine navigation. It will also provide immense help in mapping, surveying and town planning. It is expected that the satellite guided farming will change the entire definition of conventional farming in India. Vehicle tracking and fleet management services will see altogether a new era with IRNSS services. It is expected that the handheld gadgets and the mobile phones will be used extensively by the masses for a variety of navigational applications and the life will be felt incomplete without these services. As IRNSS-1B is all set to take its position, the nation is on its way to enter the elite club of very few countries that provide independent space-based navigation services.